Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to my channel. Shrill is back for its second season on Hulu. The show stars A.D. Bryant as Annie, a writer in Portland who is trying to live her best fat life. I just discovered this show like a month ago, so I am so happy that the second season is up on the service so fast. I am going to need a third season any day now before I start experiencing withdrawals. The first season only had six episodes, and the second season was up to eight, but it's still not enough. My biggest problem with season one, and probably my only problem, was just that I felt like with the short amount of episodes, they jammed a lot of story into a short amount of time. But with season two, I feel like they don't use the episodes appropriately, and it kind of feels directionless. The arc of the season is weak, and it doesn't really feel like it's telling a specific story, even if the show is as enjoyable as the first season. A.D. Bryant continues to be absolutely hilarious as Annie. She really takes the opportunity to grow and build the character more. Annie is one of my favorite characters on television right now, just being perfectly honest. And while I love the character, there are a lot of developments around her that are a bit frustrating to me. Now, without spoiling anything, I will just say that they kind of go back on one of the developments from the first season, which was a bummer to me because I feel like that takes away from some of the progression that was made not just for the character, but for the series. And I did like the way that they were playing out the relationship between Annie and her boyfriend, Ryan. But as the episodes played out, I just felt like it was becoming really predictable. Now, this is definitely a comedy series, but this season especially feels like it is trying to be a comedy. Like, the first season felt like a show that was about life, that just had naturally funny stuff. But in season two, there are plenty of moments where it kind of feels like the writers are just like, Please laugh. I remember when my mom met my boyfriend, and now he's my stepdad. God. But it isn't as bad as a speech by Jeb Bush, so it's still plenty of fun and entertaining, especially the episode at the roller rink. Comedic gold. I wanted to see more of the important series issues played out, like for example, the relationship between Annie and her mom, and things are sort of addressed but not really explored in a meaningful way, and I can only hope that they are confident in getting a third season because it hasn't been greenlit, but I'm really hoping that we get another one. Because again, I don't feel like this season in particular really moves the needle forward, but I would love to see more. I need more shrill in my life, if anything, so that I can get more of Fran. Fran is Annie's roommate who is single and loving it, and just uh, probably my actual favorite character on all of television right now. There is an episode where she gets stoned and goes to the bar by herself, and as she walks into the bar, she's just eating a burrito, and I'm like, if I have ever in my time seen my own personal hero on screen, it's Fran from Shrill. The second season of Shrill doesn't use the extra episodes as well as it should, but it does build the world around Annie in a fun and entertaining way. And while I don't think it's as strong as the first season, this is still easily one of my favorite shows on television. I'm giving season two of Shrill a 3.5 out of 5. This show is funny and real, even if it's a little off balance at times. What did you guys think of Shrill? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to watch this now, and feel free to look up any other videos that I've got in case you want to watch some more, and I'll see you in my next one.